Cortez the Gucci smell like everyone. It's me, your main man, C to the 5 to the O. So now we're going to be watching Family Guy. Peter has a prison wife. Let's go. Hey, Peter, is that your baby over there? We want fun, we want upbeat, and for our dance, we want You Belong With Me by Taylor Swift. Great, great. I also have some more classic options, like At Last. Okay, so, so what I need is someone I can work with. Can you be that person? Here you guys are. I haven't seen you all day. Me and the not cops were watching Die Hard and not commenting on the believability of the police work. Could John McClane really foil a giant heist outside his jurisdiction and just walk away and do zero paperwork? We don't know or care because we're not cops. And I got my law degree. I am now Cleveland J. Roman J. Israel, and I will be wearing wine-colored suits. You look crazy. Well, in his defense, the movie was set in the 70s, wasn't it? No, it's modern day. Oh, my stars. This sucks. Everyone's eating lunch but me. I'm never gonna find a gang. Hey, you look like you could use a friend. Well, let's just say in prison, this guy comes off. I meant my gang. We're looking for members. I, I bet you'd fit right in. Really? You only have to do one thing first. As the new white guy in prison, you have to shiv the new black guy. <laughs> Oh, you guys are that kind of gang. This is prison. No one survives on their own. So it's either him or you. Come on, there's got to be a way you'll let me in the gang without shivin' Cleveland. Oh, oh, I got an idea. There was this prison movie, and, and there was this guy who wanted to win over the other prisoners, and you know what he did? He ate seven eggs. It was amazing. So you bring me seven or some other reasonable amount of eggs. Peter, I know it's 50 eggs. Ah, you're a film buff. Yeah. Before this, I was in the USC director's program. Well, if you can call it that. You think you're learning about film, but <laughs> really, you're getting a degree in politics. Ugh, I know. Everything is so political. So political. Best advice I ever got? Whatever business you think you work in, you really work in sales. Because you're always selling yourself. Yeah. Wow, that is, that is good. You are smart. Well, I didn't say it. I'm just repeating it. Well, still, you, you recognized its value. That, that's not nothing. Peter, it's him or you. And and he's not so great. Don't forget, he's the one who told you all those schoolhouse rock spoilers. I had no idea that Bill would become a law. Ah! Sorry, Peter. My gang said I wasn't really loco unless I shivved someone, and you're the one guy without gang protection, so... Ah! Sorry, Quagmire. As a not cop, I have to shiv a guy in the Latin gang and then blame it on Cleveland. Ah! Oh! Oh! No one made me do this. I'm just sick of your overt racism. Guys, guys, stop! Stop! Look at us. We're shiving each other on Thanksgiving. Oh, wait, no one shivved Cleveland. Ah! But what are we doing? What are all of us doing? Fighting in here amongst ourselves while Brooks is out there waiting for all of us bagging groceries, adapting to this new world seamlessly. Brooks on himself. Oh, my stars. Lois! What are you doing here? I thought you were having Thanksgiving with your parents. Chris got caught watching Cousin Katie pee, so that kind of ended things. No, I wanted to get caught. That's... it's part of it. And the truth is, Peter, we're not a family without you. Can you ever forgive me? Of course I can, Peter. Hi, Peter. Who's your little friend? Now, <laughs> prison, Lois. So it's over? And what was Venice? Same thing it always was, babe. A dream we both wanted to believe. <laughs> Peter, who was that? Hi, I'm the warden. And definitely not a psychotic prisoner who just stabbed the warden and stole his clothes. Shh, shh, everyone. The warden's talking. By the rules of prison and the love boat, you've made up. Which means you get to leave wiser and happier. I love you, Lois. I love you, Peter. Hey, Lois. One day, let's go to Venice. You promise? I said it, didn't I? Donna! Buddy! Sex doll! Oh, oh yeah! yeah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Settle down. 
Now, a woman who kisses on a very first date is usually a hussy. And a woman who kisses on a second time out is anything but fussy. But a woman who'll wait till a third time around, head in the clouds, feet on the ground. She's the girl he's glad he's found. She's his shaboopy, 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 shaboopy. The girl who's hard to get. Shaboopy, shaboopy, shaboopy. But you can win her yet. Walk her once just to raise the curtain. <laughs> That's going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. Honestly, that was somewhat messed up and funny at the same time. Uh, anyways. Honestly, I love Family Guy. They're funny. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. As usual, I'm your main man, C to the 5 to the O. I will see you all next time. Till then, see ya. Hmm? Whoops. <laughs>